Hi everyone, I am Yoni and I am back in my attic trying to repair some old electronics. Well, not necessarily old today. I've got something from my mother-in-law. She basically got a... this is an e-reader, used quite a lot in Belgium. I'm not that sure if it's used a lot outside of Belgium. I already opened it up and figured out what was wrong with it. Pretty easy to see, I'll show you in a minute but the port is bad, so probably by plugging in the charger accidentally uh, plugged it in a bit too hard and broke some of the pins. So I still got an, an old battery lying around. This is our, what is it, 2200 milliamp hours. So there's probably a single cell in here and I'm gonna open that up and try to, it's, it's not been charged for a very long time so I'm pretty sure the cell is either dead or dying and I would really like to get the port from this one and then I can install this port onto this e-reader and then hopefully everything should be fixed let me take you up so that you can see what I'm doing let's do it now basically if you look at these older uh, micro USB uh, ports there's I think four cables in there five there's five uh, connections in there and then of course you have the connections to the board themselves to to fasten it up and basically if you look inside you can see that two of the ports are actually bent all the way up until the outside so for sure those are shorted to ground and I think even one of them is the actual power supply so what I want to do is just completely unsolder this one there are situations in which I would try to fix it by just bending the pins back, but I'm sure that if I do that, sooner or later she's gonna have the same problem again by plugging in the, uh, the power supply and then it's gonna be the exact same problem. And in general I would be a bit more careful with trying to pry this thing open just to see whether or not I could actually reuse it. But in this particular case, I mean, this battery has been dead for at least, for at least five years. So I think it's gonna be close to impossible to revive the battery. Never say never, but I think I prefer to harvest the port. So, what does this battery have? 226 millivolts. 226 millivolts. These type of cells typically or should have more than 3 volts. So, no matter what I did, this thing is dead. Completely dead. Now, it was unfortunately cheaper for me to actually buy a set of, not one, but 240 USB ports from China than it was to buy one here in Belgium. This one could actually work, maybe? Another important thing that I did was, so last time I desoldered everything, it wasn't a very easy thing to do bought these things but I also bought a hot air gun so that should allow me to do these surface mounted yeah just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything obvious so I want to make sure that this one is soldered on correctly and to do that I yeah whenever we are able to buy a new tool to fix something of course we will so I got myself a digital microscope already proving to be a very valuable tool I can clearly see that this definitely isn't soldered on correctly so I am again gonna remove this device yeah, this is gonna be asking for trouble I'm gonna make a new one so this one was the one I made before and as you can see this 
I melted the connector, so this one won't work anymore. But I actually tore off the back on this one. So this is what I'm gonna try to do on this one. But instead of trying to remove the metal part here as well, I'm just gonna try to remove those two feet because I think that's actually gonna be a better way forward. So let's do that. <coughs> okay, so that seems pretty good to me. So very gently heat it and hopefully I'm gonna be able to solder those two ends together. Good connections to me. 